In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can live stream on YouTube live without using OBS or any other encoding software. Basically, using just your DSLR or your webcam straight to YouTube live. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sam from Lab Production Tips and Tools and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, consider joining the family by subscribing and let's navigate the live streaming world together. So basically, there's two ways to do this, okay? You can do it using a webcam or any camera that has a USB that the computer could see as a webcam. Or the other way, which is uh, even better and more advanced, and that's the way I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. In my case, it's a mirrorless camera, but the same concept applies to any DSLR camera and it's gonna be my lumix gh5 so step number one of course you're gonna need a camera and step number two you're gonna need a microphone so i recommend using something like a shotgun microphone that will be connected to your camera so that the audio and the image will be combined together when you send them to your computer however if you don't have that you can always try using uh, a USB microphone is another option. Just be aware they may have some delay issues. So if that happens, I recommend uh, you download this software called Voice Meter Banana, and this will help you actually uh, solve this delay issue or latency issue between your lips or the image and your audio. However, if you have a microphone connected to your camera, then you should not worry, okay? So the next thing you're gonna need, obviously you're gonna need a capture card, okay? Which is uh, something like this. It's one end USB, the other end will be HDMI. That's what you're gonna use to plug an HDMI cable from your camera. You send it to the capture card and the capture card will convert the HDMI into USB and your computer is going to see your camera as a webcam, okay? So after connecting everything together, so basically you're gonna connect your HDMI, HDMI goes to capture card, capture card connects to the computer. So you also need to make sure that your camera has a clean HDMI out. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect everything. So now that everything is connected, let's go straight to our computer and start live streaming on YouTube. So you wanna make sure you logged in. So using your YouTube account or YouTube page account, okay? And you wanna go to this create icon or camera icon and click to uh, go live. So as you can see, I have uh, three options here in this corner, okay? The first option is stream, and the second one is webcam, and the third one is manage, okay? So if we were to stream using OBS or vMix or any other encoder, then I will go to this option, okay? I will need to use this stream key. But in our case, we just uh, we just want to live stream straight from the camera without passing to anything else. So we're gonna go here to webcam, okay? And as you can see, we have all the details, okay? So this is where you can add uh, a title. So let's go ahead and add the title for our stream. Let's say, call it testing. You need to add you know a little description of your video so i'm just gonna add test again okay no big deal you have all different options for your live stream so make sure you go through everything here you even have an option to add the thumbnail uh, add your live stream to a playlist so i encourage you to go through everything here and make sure everything is completed but for the sake of this video we don't need to fill out everything we're just gonna go to next. So as you can see, I still have a few things to fill out, uh, but for the sake of this video, again, no need to go through everything here. Then I go next. I'm just gonna make sure it's unlisted. In your case, if you wanna go public, obviously you're gonna choose uh, public, okay? But for this uh, particular live stream, this is just a test, so I, need, I don't need to go uh, publicly live okay and then at this step i don't have the image yet okay 
So what I need is I need to go down here, okay, to my inputs, okay? And this is where I'm gonna choose, I have an option for my webcam and an option for my microphone, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this USB video and I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, which microphone that I want to use. Again, I have a USB microphone connected, which is this one but i don't want to use it i don't i want to use the microphone on the camera okay and this is gonna be uh my digital audio interface or usb digital audio so this is the audio coming from the capture card uh obviously from the camera so i'm gonna choose that one uh, now everything is set as you can see you can see my image in the back here <laughs> even though it's kind of like in black and white Okay, but once I go live, as you can see, I'm live now, okay? You can see you have controls, you have levels for your microphone here. You can mute it if you want, okay? Um, you have edit. This is where you can go back and edit some stuff on your description and all the SEO stuff, okay? You have the customization you know you still have all those options available for you okay you can share your stream here so as you can see i'm just gonna copy the link okay and if i go to youtube let's say just type it, type uh, the link in okay as you can see i'm live now on youtube okay uh this is something simple really uh, you have your chat options here. You're going to see people sending some messages and chats and all that kind of stuff. Keep in mind, this gives you just basic controls as if you are streaming with the webcam and uh, you're not going to be able to add fancy stuff like adding a logo, sharing your screen. So those are things that you cannot do here. If you want to do those kind of stuff, then you would have to go uh, to use an encoder something like vmix or obs okay so basically once you're done all you have to do is go to uh, click to end stream okay once you're done live streaming and yes it's gonna ask you to if you want to end your stream and as you can see you have an option to edit your stream let's say if you want to chop off some parts that you didn't uh, you didn't like let's say the beginning or the end of the stream then you can go ahead and edit in studio which is like an editing uh, studio software from youtube other than that you can simply dismiss and if you dismiss youtube is going to save uh, the file that you live streamed on YouTube and it will keep it there for people who want to watch a replay of your live streaming. Just to let you know, the capture card that I used to do this video cost me $16. So you don't have to spend that other money. If you already have a good camera, you can use that to live stream with a cheap capture card, you know, like around 16, 20, $30, you don't really have to spend a lot of money on capture cards, okay? If you need to know how to do the same thing using OBS, then I'll suggest you watch the playlist that I'm gonna link at the end. I'm gonna put some other videos as well for live streaming on YouTube, Facebook Live, and using OBS. So make sure you check those out if you are new uh, to live streaming. Other than that, I appreciate you hanging out with me and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.